I know you've all been there before. Sometimes you just want to push a real button. What's up, everybody? I'm DJ LaFave, and if you're like me, you can't live without all the incredible automation that Touch Portal has to offer. But sometimes you also want to make use of that Stream Deck that's just found itself sitting on your desk. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to execute flows inside of Touch Portal with the press of a Stream Deck button. This is all made possible by a new free Touch Portal plugin created by my boy, Chris. So after you're finished watching this video, give him a shout out in the comments and let him feel your love. All right, so here's what we're going to need to make this happen. Step one, you need a Stream Deck, duh. And then you need a Touch Portal with the Pro upgrade to be able to use this plugin. It's a one-time payment of $13.99 US dollars, and it's a lifetime license. Now I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to download, install the plugin, and how to configure everything. So if you run into any issues, as always, leave a comment, and I'll try to help you get everything sorted out. Here we go. The direct link to the plugin installation is obviously in the description below. Um, because we do that for all these videos. But if you want to see how to get there from the actual website, go to touch-portal.com, and then you're going to hover over Downloads and go to Plugins. In Plugins, you're going to now go right here and select the Keyboard Mouse Plugin. This is the brand new plugin. And you'll see right here, it only has 119 downloads. We're going to make this blow up in numbers because this is such a useful, useful utility. You click on this right here, now it opens up this tab and you go to website, or you just click the link right down below, it'll bring you right here. What you're gonna need to do now is we're gonna click download, and it does need Java Runtime Environment version eight in order for this to work. So make sure you get that. If you don't have it already, I have it, so I'm not gonna click on this button. Instead, I'm gonna click on proceed to download. So we're gonna wait a moment, preparing for your download, check out your wonderful advertisements, ad advertisements that are coming up on the screen. And like I said, this is gonna be really, really quick. There is the plugin now, it has been downloaded. So that step is out of the way. You've got it all downloaded, let's go install it. Inside of Touch Portal, you go to the little settings cog in the top right, and we're gonna go import plugin. It's gonna say, sure, where did you download that plugin to? Well, sir, I downloaded it on my desktop. There it is right there, the Touch Portal keyboard mouse plugin. Double click. And you get this wonderful thing. It says, we have this plugin. Do you trust it? I trust everything that Chris makes. It's all golden. Trust always. Plugin has been imported success successfully. Okay. So the way that this plugin works is you have to turn the listener on. So every time that you start up your computer, start up Touch Portal, and you want to make this feature work, you just have to push one button that you create on whatever page you want to create. I'm going to create it on this example page right here. So to create a button, just click on this empty space and this window pops up. Now on the left-hand side for add actions, all I want you to do is just type in listener. And for keyboard mouse, we're gonna say set keyboard listener status to true. As always with all touch portal buttons, you must, you must put in text. Otherwise the button is just lost forever. It's gone into a black hole. So we're gonna say turn listener on, that's it. That's it, now we're gonna say save. You can make it look however you want, but we have our button right there. So now that the, the listener is turned on and activated, let's head over to Stream Deck. So inside of Stream Deck, this is a wonderful built-in feature. It is called Hotkey. That's right, Hotkey. We're just gonna drag a Hotkey button over here. And when you drag it over, you get this thing on the bottom that says title it. We're gonna say uh, example. I'm gonna give you guys the example of what we're doing. And then the hotkey that I want to assign for this, I'm going to do control two. Just, uh, just sounds good. So now example, control two, our hotkey, our button push has been created. Let's take it back into touch portal right now. And what you normally have done inside of touch portal, you've created some flows. Uh, you've already built something inside of OBS or some other type of automation that you now want your stream deck to be able to activate it whether it's doing a whole bunch of move source transitions, which I'm gonna show you here. Uh, for this example, it's called example. I created inside of my OBS a couple of movements, and here's a set of things that's gonna happen when I push this Stream Deck button. So make sure you have a flow created. Go over to the Global Events tab, Global Events, and we're gonna click the plus button to create a new event. So this event, I'm gonna call example. And the event, what we're gonna select down here, scroll on down until you get values when plugin state changes. 
Click on that, and when the plugin state, touch portal, mouse plugin, keyboard mouse, key combination changes to, and this is a, where you have to actually type it out, control, space, put the plus sign in there, and we're going to say two. When that happens, I want to execute a flow. Execute a flow. So the flow that I created earlier was called example because I'm super, super creative. Now we're going to click save. Now, without further ado, I'm going to warm up my finger here, warm up my finger. I'm going to push a button on my stream deck and it's going to execute the flow that I created inside of touch portal to see if it is working. When we're inside a touch portal, you're going to see this light up this right here. This, this set, uh, example, the example is going to light up and then, uh, here we go. I'm going to push it. There you go. I'm going to push it again. <laughs> One more time. It's super, super easy. Um, it doesn't get any, any, any easier than that. That's six minutes in. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a comment if you run into any problems. Like, subscribe. I love using Touch Portal um, and coming up with outside of the box things to make your workflows easier. I'm LaFave. That's all I got for now. Hope you guys have a great day. And uh, like, subscribe. Meh, meh, meh. See you on the next live stream. LaFave.